lot of people may remember me from uh, Caitlyn Jenner's docuseries, I Am Kate, and from my appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, in which she and Caitlyn teamed up to help me pay for nursing school. I started telling my truth, talking about my struggles of not getting in nursing school, but I, I noticed that as I would tell my story to different people, to, to different shows and, and, and everything, that was one part of my life I decided to leave out. I've been living with HIV for 12 years now, and you know, most people <laughs> couldn't tell because I'm just so happy, but once upon a time, I just, I went around just so angry all the time. But as I get older, I really have to understand that People can talk all they want, but I can't let that hurt me. I can't, I, I just can't. You know, I've come a long way. And if I'm gonna talk in my truth, I need to stand in my entire truth. I feel like it was the right time, the right place for that to happen. People are still stuck on the fact of just trans people being in society, period. And so often it's a topic that's just left out because, you know, people will think, well, you, there's like three strikes against you. One, I'm transgender. Two, I'm a person of color. Three, I'm HIV positive. Society will look down on me anyway. And I feel like a lot of trans women of color don't mention it. It's because of those things. But I feel like if we don't talk about it, then you know, the problem will continue to persist. It is very possible to be transgender and living with HIV. You can still have a normal life. HIV is not the end of the road. It should be just the beginning.